Brisbane Boys College has a long, proud tradition of high academic achievement. To maintain this and aim for continuous improvement, teachers engage with evidence-based practices and cutting-edge technologies to deliver a new school of thought. Aligned with the college's curriculum vision for being trailblazers in the area of boys' literacy, and in collaboration with ISQ's Middle Leader Project, senior academics from across the college have engaged in initiatives to identify areas of strength and opportunities to grow our staff and, of course, our young men. Okay, so our project uh, was investigating the extent to which a genre-based pedagogy would improve student outcomes in English. Well, firstly, we undertook a study of the literature to look at you know, what work has already been done and achieved in this space. And there is clear evidence to suggest that a genre-based pedagogy is very successful within the field of linguistics. And so we figured that this, the subject of English offered a, a field that was ripe for research. And so then what we did was we streamlined the number of genres that we asked our students to use in their writing and we provided a coherent uh, sequential approach across our year levels uh, for students to engage with those genres. We reframed our task sheets, redesigned our assessment and marking guides using the, uh, the achievement standards for the Australian curriculum as well as QCAA curriculum uh, to allow us to track that data across year levels. So our first round of data is showing that across year levels, students are experiencing a 10 to 12% improvement in their performance in each genre uh, this year. So that's quite a remarkable improvement in quite a very short amount of time. We recognised uh, through multiple avenues at BBC that our teachers were providing high level feedback that was, I guess, in a single direction from the teacher uh, through to the student. We recognise this through multiple ways such as our partnership coaching program, um, conversations with teachers and, and evidence uh, gained from students. The inquiry project was about implementing a student-centred feedback project uh, that allowed uh, teachers to work one-on-one -on -one with students without the burden of providing uh, the feedback to all the students as the sole point of truth. In actual fact, building capacity in the kids themselves to provide feedback to each other in a structured way that allowed them to move forward in their learning. It's about building capacity in the teachers that we have. Uh, we've got amazing individuals who are doing great work. And so in the first instance, you know, it's about building a coalition of the willing, getting the right people on the bus, uh, whatever term you want to use. And so we decided that it was uh, the Year 10 English team uh, and we were going to use them to drive this student-centred feedback model. The impact for students was for them to develop a nose for quality about their own work. They were able to more confidently provide feedback to each other, but also recognise what good work looked like and how they needed to get there. So my component of the project was to look at assessment across the middle school. As the middle school curriculum coordinator, I have the privilege of looking at assessment in a number of different subject areas and we were looking for commonality within those assessment tasks and simplifying those to make them more accessible for students with a key focus on the writing component of those assessment tasks. Initially we engaged with staff by looking at the assessment tasks with HODS, sharing that information from the audit with staff at a whole school staff meeting and then working with some key staff members in some specific subject areas to realign assessment tasks and investigate their impact. The impact for students at this stage was that we had assessment tasks that were simpler, they were clearer, there was commonality across subject areas. We did some research to look at white space, less words and really have assessment tasks that took the working memory load out of the instruction part of the task and made them more accessible for students. My project was working with the Year 4 team because we noticed a disconnect between the NAPLAN data from Year 3 to Year 5. Our boys performed very well with numeracy and spelling from Year 3 to Year 5, but our writing there was 
a, de a decline. So we decided that this would be a good stepping stone for us to improve their writing. We looked at explicit teaching as an approach for improving this writing. We looked at the data from Anita Archer and Hattie and explicit instruction we felt would give um, the most improvement in this area. Through a staff survey that we introduced to the year four teachers because that was our area of focus with NAPLAN data, we saw a need for instruction in sentence structure and vocabulary which was identified through the explicit instruction research. We were clearly able to identify the impact using pre and post data that we collected by administering a NAPLAN style demand writing task before the project started and at the end of the project. This data identified that sentence structure had improved and it also identified that vocabulary had improved as well as punctuation and cohesion. We felt this was due to the cognitive load being lifted from the students because they had a clear structure of writing and were able to implement their writing more easily. As a leading boys school, we have a moral imperative to set the standard for engaging boys in literacy, particularly with the demands of writing across all subject areas and into pathways beyond school. The work of these leaders at the college continues to gain traction with colleagues and students. Music